Hey guys, so I'm just going to be doing a tutorial video on the toe drag. Um, so I'm going to be using the Bauer Nexus, uh, not Bauer Nexus, Bauer Vapor 1X with the old Ovechkin Curve, the PO8. And I'm thinking since this is a hockey channel, I'm going to try to do more tutorial videos and more tips on how to elevate your game and make it better. Um, where's my ball that I use? Right here. Alright, so there's two different types of toe drags. There's the actual literal toe drag, I like to call it that. And then there's the um, stick handle pull toe drag, whatever you want to call it. So we'll start with the actual toe drag. This one, I'm talking about, uh, if, is this a good angle? Just do a little more. There. Is if it's like a two on one, there's a defender on you. And he's blocking the pass to the other guy. And you he, uh, this is mainly when he dies to get around his stick blade. And then there's just all that to shoot at. So let's say you're coming in on the right wing. Same thing for a lefty on the left wing. Just apply it to the other side. So let's say he dies. You get around the stick. You do an actual toe drag and you end up right here. Now, if you have time, you can do this and do that, get the shot off, whatever. Um, that's if you have time, most likely you're not going to. So this is why you have to be a little more experienced to do it this way. When you pull it, you have to be able to shoot it in your feet. You have to get the shot off when the puck is in your feet. You have to know that you have to release it right there. And I like to go top right or bottom right. I don't like to shoot to the far side in that situation. So this is what that looks like. Defender goes down, get around the stick blade, put yourself in the slot, you're at a little more of an angle, but you get the shot off and it's all good there. Second type is this stick handle one. So the defender goes down and you pull it on the backhand until you get into the slot. So in the slot, now you can choose where you want to shoot. You have the perfect angle for any shot. You can go up there, you can go up there, you can go down there, and you can go down there. And if you see an opening, you can go five ball. So I like that way better. So you come in, fender goes down, you pull it, and then release that shot. So this is what the first one looks like. Pull it in release it, but make sure it goes on net. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the net. There's that, there's that. And then the, here's the uh, other form. Then it goes down, pull it, and then you get yourself into more of the slot area. Pull it. You don't want to do too many of those stick handles. I think um, one, two, three, four, back to the forehand. So you want to go like this. You want to pull one, two, three, four back to the forehand right here. You can release. So here's what that looks like. Do it one more time. Too many stick handles. And you're kind of stick handling while your body is moving away and you're pulling it in to get the shot off. Alright, that's the video, and then here's my bonus, uh, bonus shot, bonus deep, or whatever you want to call it. This is the, uh, backhand sort of thing. This is more of a tip, um, or a cool thing to show you guys. So let's say, um, uh, it's like a two-on-two -two or something. You have another guy, there's a lot of defenders, um, a cool thing to do is if you're in tight here, let's say there's traffic in, well, let's say um, there's two ways of doing it with traffic in front or with traffic not in front. Let's say there's, there's no traffic in front. It was an icing or whatever, you negated it, whatever the situation is. There's like one defender in front. Um, if, you, if you pull it right here, most likely, this is pretty cool. When you're when when uh, you're right here, the goalie's not gonna let you come here and then do whatever deke you want, whatever. So once you get here, he's 
gonna poke check. So this is this move. When he poke checks, this is what you wanna do. It's, it's pretty cool. You wanna do the first toe drag move. So this relates to the toe drag. You wanna actually pull it around, then this will lead to the move you wanna do. It's not really great to do that move for the actual toe drag because um, you're gonna end up having to shoot it in your feet because you wanna go back to the forehand. This one, you want to go to the backhand. So once you do this, all you have to do is that, and then you're good to go. That's the move. If you were to do this, it, you're going to lose it. You're going to fall. You won't be able to get a shot off. That's a, you're going you're gonna to mess things. So you do this right here around the poke check. Goalie even might go down, which makes your life a lot easier. Do not hit the post. That will torture you for the rest of your life. I had a penalty shot, I had the goalie down, hit the post, I'm still kicking myself over it. So you go like this, poke check, once he, and once he poke checks, sometimes he'll commit, sometimes he'll just give a little jab, uh, or sometimes he'll even try to cover the puck, but if he like commits like that, there's, there's no chance, look at how much net there is, so if you just pull it backhand, you want to make sure you get it up though, right? right in the uh, shot. So you just go around the prone goaltender with his failed poke check attempt. And make sure you put your hands up to the crossbar so you get it up there. You wanna finish like this. Do it one more time. Get it up there. You wanna make sure you get it more on the uh, far side. Why isn't it going in? Got him on the good one. So drag it up there. That was good. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm new. I'm a new channel. Uh, remember to do that. And comment down below what you want me to do for the next video. I could do stick handling, shooting, toe drags, deeks, shootouts, breakaways. Um, if what you do on a power play, penalty kill, whatever, uh, just do that and I'll do whatever you guys want. So that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.